Hi, my name's Mark Wells, and today we're going to talk about some important FES flower essences that will help people with concentration, uh, focusing their mind, uh, and even studying. And the first remedy I'd like to look at is rabbit brush. Now, rabbit brush is really useful when we find our mind wandering and um, not the healthy daydreaming. It's just wandering uh, away from what we're trying to concentrate on. Um, the signature of the plant's quite strong in the sense that when you look at the way it grows, it tends to grow all over the place and it um, needs trimming. Um, and that's exactly what uh, happens with the, the person in need of rabbit brush. Their mind tends to be wandering. It tends to be scattered. Um, and this is happening all the time. When they're trying to concentrate on work or just attending to things you know, from day to day. Uh, so whenever this is uh, occurring, when you find your mind's all over the shop, think of rabbit brush to sort of tighten things up, tone things up so you can concentrate better. The next one I'd like to look at is Mardia. Uh, now Mardia has, also has an interesting signature to the plant. When you look at Mardia, uh, particularly the central uh, part of the flower, uh, it's really intricate. Um, it has all these d details and you find little markings. And that's exactly what Mardia is helpful for. It helps people concentrate, but also attend to the detail. One little anecdotal story I'll tell you about my own practice. Over the years when I've prescribed this, it's phenomenal how many times people have come back, you know, the next month, for example, and they've said to me, uh, oh, by the way, Mark, I, I painted that room I was intending to paint before. Now, I'm not suggesting people take Marty when they're going, they need some painting done, uh, but I can tell you it's happened so often with clients. They've said, oh, we finally got that painted, but I can only, sense that you know they're procrastinated but it is about attending to detail and we all know when we have to paint um, there's the you know the big sweeping brush but there's also those little details we need to uh, focus on so Marty is really good at attending to that detail but also uh, allowing us to do that in a more more comfortable way so we don't ex you know lose energy um, sometimes it's, it's really about, you know, we can concentrate, but it takes so much out of us. Uh, Marty allows us to do that with more ease. Um, so we've got more energy, mental energy. The next one I'd like to look at is Shasta Daisy. Now Shasta Daisy uh, is a great remedy when we need to take on a whole lot of different perspectives um, and directions or even inspirations. You know, our head's getting all these inspirations there, but how do we put all that together? If I could use the analogy, and this is where it's useful too for student studying, if you have to do an assignment and you've got all these sort of things that you have to take into account, integrate, and then put into your assignment. Um, Shasta Daisy's help helps us um, get that sort of mental overview and then put it together. Um, so when we've got a lot of different inspirations and directions and we're not sure how to weigh that up um, and how, you know, what do we take from that? Uh, Shasta Daisy is brilliant. Another interesting anecdotal thing from my own practice, people who would need, tend to need Shasta Daisy a lot uh, just because of the, the personality, the, their, their own nature, get a lot of problems from the neck up. And I always think it's like they've got so many bits of information in their head um, and they keep collecting it. Um, and how do they put that together? You know, some people can apply themselves in this area, know that well, and that helps them in the other area. Um, and that's what Shasta Daisy is about. But other people collect lots of bits of information, but don't seem to be able to integrate it. Um, so Shasta Daisy, bring it there. And it may well, if it's good for the client, it may well help their sinus, their headaches, their migraines, and even their neck being out all the time because it's, it's almost like there's so much energy in the head area, there's gonna be a lot of waste as too, and it's gonna tire. So Shasta Daisy is a great one of just putting all the pieces together in a nice um, Mandelic type consciousness. Uh, the next one I want to look at is fillery. 
And Fillory is an interesting one. I've given this to a lot of managers or people in managerial positions where they have to manage a lot of things, a lot of people, uh, a lot of departments. Um, and, you know, what Fillory will do is allow you to have that broader perspective so you can say, well, if I, if I focus on that, that'll bring everything else into harmony or balance. Um, so the, the negative side of filler is people get stuck in the detail and um, go in that one direction um, and get sidetracked and they lose perspective of the bigger picture. Um, so it is for, you know, classically for those people in managerial positions, but, but you know, I know things are changing between the work balance between uh, husband and wives, but still more often, um, mum or the, the wife has to manage manage the house, manage the meals, manage the kids, etc., etc., And they can get overwhelmed with all of that. So, you know, filler is good in that sort of situation as well. So when we're getting sort of caught up in, a, um, in the detail, it's not gonna say you, you know, ignore the details, but see the important ones uh, and not go off on a tangent, which is not gonna help the greater whole. So filler is excellent there. Peppermint, um, peppermint's another remedy. Pretty straightforward, it's just peps up the energy um, for mental clarity, um, to, for an energised mind. Um, one of the things I've again noticed in practice, I, I tended over the years to get a lot of teachers at the end of a semester. You know, they come to you, they're tiring, um, It's the, they're being tired at the end of that, and at the same time they have to go home and do all these um, uh, filling the, the forms for the kids and how they've been over the, that semester, et cetera, et cetera. So there's excessive mental work to be done um, and they're tiring. And I found that peppermint uh, has been really useful just to, to energize uh, so they can, uh, you know, they can um, complete that sort of mental intense work and, and survive it and not get sick. And, that, and that's what we're talking about all the time here. We, the influence these can have on you know preventing illness uh, and improving illness. Rosemary, uh, you would know, you know, rosemary stimulates um, as a, a herb or as a um, essential oil. It stimulates circulation to the extremities, uh, and that includes your brain. And rosemary as a flower essence is about that. It's when people feel a bit vague doubt. You know, they're getting these periods of the day where they just feel vague and. Um, just can't focus and daydreaming and they're losing it a bit. Uh, rosemary helps them feel, you know, vitalise the, the mental sphere, uh, but it also helps the person feel really here. They're really fully in, in their body and, and grounded and, um, and thinking clearly. Um, but, you know, as I said, the negative side or the symptoms you'd look at in someone is this sort of vaguing out and just feeling maybe some dizziness, but generally just, oh, I'm not quite there. Um, rosemary helps um, improve that situation. I, I, again, from practice, and this is the beauty of these essences I can give, the, the amount of people that have come back to when they've been taking rosemary for, for those particular symptoms and they said, oh, I've noticed that my circulation to my hands is better. Um, so, you know, never underestimate how these FES flower essences um, can actually influence the physical ultimately. Uh, and finally, and um, I should never forget this, it's forget me not. Um, forget me not, we've spoken about it a lot. You could probably see it's one of my favourite remedies. Um, but forget me not is for that. It's for memory. Uh, so on a short term, day to day basis, if you feel as though you, you know, you, your memory is not quite what it was, forget me not might give that boost. As, it, as I said, in the bigger picture, it is about focusing on where you need to focus. Um, sometimes if we're not, um, how would you say, motivated or driven by where we're going, it's because we're not on the right track. Uh, and again, forget me not can actually get us a little bit get us a sense of, no, I'm, I think I'm a bit off track there. I need to go more this direction. And all of a sudden we're energized, we're motivated. Um, so it's great in that sense, but it's also good for just our, our, our normal memory and short-term memory um, day to day. So thank you very much.